it is my privilege and my honor to to address you today and and launch this this new brand and explain about this to you uh, hopefully you will see value in this logo is like our face but uh, branding is the person behind that face the character as well as the physicality both so many times what happens is that we care a lot about the logo logo can be done in 5 rupees i can tell you that i'll do it in 5 rupees okay 5 is too cheap 5000 rupees <clears throat> but it is the the character behind that person which you have to design is is what takes the time and in my opinion it is the character which is what uh, is actually doing the business people deal with characters they don't deal with what you look like even in in our office when we meet people for the first time impression hota hai ki aadmi aisa hai ya aadmi aisa hai she looks like this she looks like that but the moment you had some um, some interaction together that that physicality goes that finishes you forget that person you start you you start liking people as they are then what matters to you is how that person is behaving with you how is that person interacting with you what is that person doing what is the knowledge and intellect and interaction of that person that is very important okay so what i found in in my work not not today uh, from many as i've been doing this for last 35 years and one of the first major projects which i did was for icici bank so the icici bank thani it used to be called some industrial credit and investment corporation of india so my first reaction was pehle to naam hi chota karte hain and then we needed to give it a character and i was very keen right from the beginning when i was uh, discussing with mr kamak that we needed a very indian character to it he came from uh, Mr Kamath came from City Bank uh, Malaysia and he was saying the blue blue color is what he wanted because Malaysia uh, City Bank is blue and blue is very good and i insisted that we are indian and we use warm colors in all our rituals you know vermilion hindu religion into uh, weddings into everything so let's let's use a very modern contemporary rendition of the warm colors burgundy to orange you all know that right <clears throat> so in that bank of course bank is full of chartered accountants everybody tells me no bank in the world uses red color because red means loss so i had to go around the world and figure out that two banks in the world which use red color and both of them were very profitable <laughs> one was tomato bank in japan and one was espana bank espana in uh, spain uh, very well and i came back and presented to the to the board uh, the colors which i wanted and we went ahead with that and i'm i'm so glad that uh, it's become an iconic bank in india and it's it the color scheme of that bank is extremely rooted into our culture uh, so right from that time something which triggered in my mind is it is the culture uh, which is very important so when we are building a brand or we are building identity or we are building a company what are we doing we are building a culture abhi aapne suna na ke ye sab systems jo hai all all that what what we are trying to do is there is a certain way in which we have to behave with each other in this company that is the culture there is a certain way in which we behave with our customers that is the culture and those people will remember that interaction they they will remember that interaction in your own uh, experience you always like people who are very clear in their head aap dekho aap aapke friend circle mein coworkers mein ghar mein family mein wherever in your school network in your teacher network you always like people who are very clear in their head ki mujhe kya karna hai main kyon kar raha hu क्यों कर रही हूँ कहाँ जाना है किस लिए जाना है इससे क्या फ़ायदा होगा कहाँ नहीं जाना है क्या करना है क्या नहीं करना है दैट दैट क्लैरिटी इज वॉट बिकम्स द कैरेक्टर ऑफ द पर्सन क्लैरिटी आती कहाँ से इट कम्स फ्रॉम द नॉलेज इफ ए पर्सन नोज हिमसेल्फ और हर सेल्फ वेरी वेल 
दैट पर्सन इज़ वेरी क्लियर कि यार ये ब्लैक तो मैं लाइफ में कभी पहन ही नहीं सकता वाई बिकॉज आई डोंट लाइक ब्लैक बिकॉज ऑफ दिस इज दिस रीजन आई एम क्लियर अबाउट दिस या मुझे ये खाना नहीं है या मुझे वहाँ जाना नहीं है मुझे ये स्मेल अच्छी नहीं लगती है आई एम वेरी क्लियर अबाउट माई सेल्फ कंपनीज के लिए कोई अलग नहीं होता है दिस इज एग्जैक्टली द सेम क्लैरिटी द कंपनीज नीड एंड ऑल विच वी डिड इन दिस प्रोजेक्ट इज ब्रॉड दैट क्लैरिटी आउट इट वॉज देयर ऑलरेडी विद यू ऑल वी डिड वॉज हैव लॉट ऑफ डिस्कशन विद योर टीम विद योर लीडरशिप ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड ग्रे एरियाज क्या है नॉट दैट आई आई विल नॉट क्लेम दैट वी अंडरस्टूड वॉट यू डू वी स्टिल डोंट That's your business, but we understood as a customer. If I am outside the company, what is it that I am not feeling comfortable about, or I feel is a grey area? Can we clear that grey area? Can we make it crystal clear who are we, why we are here, what do we do, what is the purpose of this company, and how do I come across to that uh, to my audience? That is this exercise. and i am showing you this clarity you already have this in your goodie bags there is a booklet uh, which each of you should take back home and read i am going to present you uh, the same thing today <clears throat> and why take this exercise because future is big i know china is taking over everything everywhere but but realize that the the way india is growing and india is growing on the back of companies like ours it is not only those 5 10 100 companies at the top which are growing india is growing because we are growing india is growing because we are working very very hard to grow right <clears throat> and the potential is huge future is really really big and i was very excited that you already had that in your name big mint technologies right so the brand was there staring with us at us so it's not something which is new it's not something we will have a problem even in registering uh, which we face with with many uh, many companies like dhruv has just presented you the story <clears throat> since 2010 a journey of over a decade and what is this journey i mean theek hai steel mint did this but it's basically a journey of people teen log the do log the they got together from three people now so many people right products started with sms whatsapp messaging uh, portal uh, website uh, app markets started with a very small market first many markets data statistics assessments accuracy trading it's a journey of so many things but overall it's a journey of growth three people into this room full of people right and it's not a small room by the way if they stuck with what they were doing at that time with that knowledge thinking ye logo to main khud hi design kar lunga ye kaam mein main khud hi kar lunga they would have continued doing that and i'm telling you a lot of businesses in india have potential they don't grow why because the vision doesn't grow the vision needs to grow you can't get stuck with the vision so it's a journey of the growth of the vision it's growth of the mission while the company is growing while you getting to know new things your mission is is changing goal post you are changing from here to there saying i need to do something else and the growth of purpose changes right so let me let me just point out a few things to you i just already mentioned from very regional very local very regional to national to global that's the the growth of vision not very well articulated as of now in terms of the global ambitions but i don't know you can see very clearly into the company i can see it very clearly i'll probably be doing the same exercise 3 to 5 years from now for international level right growth of mission price reporting to industry insights and everything in between price reporting is one kind of activity इतने में खरीदना है इतने में बेचना है ये इसने इतने में खरीदा है इतने में बेचा टर्निंग दैट इन टू एन साइट आप यहाँ पे फैक्ट्री लगाओ मत लगाओ इसकी वजह से इकोनॉमी चेंज होगी नहीं चेंज हुई एंड एवरी थिंग विच कम्स इन बिटवीन इवेंट्स वेबसाइट्स पब्लिशिंग मैगजीन लेक्चर्स वेबिनार्स 
everything, right? <coughs> and growth of purpose. Anyone who starts a business, the purpose is survival. That's it. Somehow I should be able to make some money. From survival to becoming an industry leader. That's the growth of purpose. I, are you with me? Is, is this making sense? Right? Okay. <clears throat> so growth has happened in many, many ways. There are more domains now. When I say domains, it's, it's not just steel, it's not just coal, it's not just gold, it's not just... I mean, the world is the end. There is art which can be indexed. There is there's wheat, there's agro products, there's sugar cane, there's sugar by itself. I mean, there's so much that the whole world is open there. More industries, industry sectors, products, events, associations, geographies, what's happening in China, what's in Middle East, what's happening here, what's in North India, what's in South, Calcutta, East, whatever. <clears throat> more presence, more responsibilities. All this has been growing. While all this is growing, it's also adding more complexities to us into our business operations or the way people perceive us, right? So our brand, as it is now, I'm talking about Steel Mint, is a very complex brand. And, and um, I, I was here two years back. I don't know if you, some of you who were here must have heard me at that time. Brand is about simplicity. You cannot understand complex brands or even people. If there's a simple person with us, we like, ah, bahut simple admi. Simple nahi hai, matlab aapko kuch bula, piche kuch bula, wahan pe kuch aur understanding hua, complex. Those people you cannot understand. Ye yahan pe mujhe kuch bul ke gaya, wahan pe kuch aur kar diya. The steel mint actually came across a, a brand which is very, very complex. First I heard steel mint, then I heard coal mint. I said, okay, so there's a group of companies which is coal mint, steel mint, gold mint, uh, you know, maybe other things will come up. So steel mint is what people know us as, but we work in multiple commodities. We don't work only in steel, we work in more. We will work in more, much more, right? This is the complexity of our brand. We are known for price reporting, but we inform and influence markets. Do you realize that? Right? You do that. We tell people we do price reporting. But what are we doing? We are informing markets. We are influencing markets. Is getting influenced by what you're putting out. Right? We connect with the audience through events. But we are a tech company. See the complexity of the brand, right? How do we simplify this? This gets simplified by starting a new chapter. So starting a new chapter in our history, I'm calling this history because you have to see this few years later. It's, Bruce said it very right, it's an extremely important milestone in anybody's life to have a change in brand, consolidated single name. So there's a single brand we are going to move ahead with, with architecture, with spaces built in for various geographies, various domains, various commodities, various industries within that. The name is Big Mint, as already released. You already had this. <clears throat> I, I was very surprised when, when Dhruv told me about the Mint Vala story. Mint is not mint, not that uh, steel mint or, or that uh, metal mint. It was that pudine ka patta, freshness. I said, wow, look at that, a steel company a index company, a price reporting company has such a creative name, Mint, but it just gets hidden, right? So we need to make the Mint alive. We, when I say we, you, need to make the Mint alive. So we made the Mint more alive. We put meaning into the Mint which goes way beyond Mint. It becomes our reason to exist. It becomes our values. Big was already there. Big is already there because future is big. This is called a modular brand, by the way. What this means is you will have only one single brand, Big Mint. The customers will deal only with Big Mint, but within Big Mint, we will have many ways of representing it. I, I learned this very early again in my career when we were dealing with scooters and motorcycles. Started with Chetak, Super, all that, and then came in Pulsar, and uh, I realized it's very difficult 
for very large companies to build multiple brands. We take it very, it's very easy to think of a name, but it's very difficult to build brands. In, in customer's mind, you can, you can only have one slot. So it's better to build one brand and, and build it very thoroughly than have multiple brands built into the customer's mind. So I'm, I'm extremely confident that all of you together will be able to put that hook into the customer's mind saying Big Mint is the place you have to go to. You don't have to think of Coal Mint, you don't have to think of Steel Mint or nothing else. Big Mint is the brand. So what is Big Mint? We are a trusted platform for price reporting, market intelligence, and consulting for communities. Now, if you look at this, this explains the work we do today. It is also futuristic. It, it is also telling you the direction our work will take tomorrow. So it's, it, this is our positioning. This is there on your visiting cards, which you have received. This is something which you need to memorize. What is Big Mint? Big Mint is, we are a trusted platform for price reporting, market intelligence, and consulting for communities. What do we do? It was already there. What do we do? We enable our clients to take critical market decisions. Now, each and every word in, in, in what I'm telling you has been, has been uh, discussed, has been shredded, has been uh, debated on, and, and finally included into this. So we enable our clients to take critical market decisions. You understand the critical market decisions, critical, like time critical, money critical. Somebody's life depends on this. By, pro by providing a robust platform for pricing. Robust, that means you can depend on it and it will prevail in the market, right? <clears throat> data and networking, pricing data and networking. This keeps them at the forefront of their industry. Remember that. So what we give them makes them the leader. The information you give to your customers is, is critical and they lead their industries because of the information which you give. Okay? We add further value by offering reliable insights and consulting services for a host of community markets. This, um, as Dhruv mentioned, you will see coming soon. This is on, on the backbone of our our price reporting uh, data and insights, right? How do we do this? We gather information from diverse networks using globally benchmarked compliant methods and technologies. Why compliant methods? Because people need to trust you, right? Anyone can give information, anyone gives information, but people need to trust you. It's a compliant um, benchmarked methods and technologies. There's a process into this. Why do we do this? We drive growth and development of several community industries, bringing transparency to unorganized and opaque markets. You know, if you, if you wouldn't do what you're doing, there, there will be no, no transparency in the market. You don't know. You're buying at any price, you're selling at any price. You don't know what business, how, in so much so that you wouldn't know how to price motorcycles in the market. You, you will not know how to price cars in the market. How will the, the housing sector work, the construction uh, industry work? Think of that. So we enable businesses to take critical decisions with confidence. That is what we do. It's so critical. <clears throat> and what are our values? I already told you, our values are mint, right? So I'm gonna go through, go to each of them. Why values are important? I think it's very important to understand why values are important. Me, as a person, I stand for something. You know, all of us here, we are Indians. Indians have certain values. And a and lot of these values are at, at four today, are in the front today. Uh, <coughs> the, the guest is a god, is a value we have, right? We take out chapels outside our house, is a value we have. Hygiene is a value for us. How we treat uh, people uh, is a value to us. If these are inbuilt values given by our parents to us. That's how we grow up, by those values, right? Values build culture, and cultures build companies. Remember that. Company will not be built by itself. It's always built on values. Now, I know <coughs> today's time is such that a lot of people will come in 
they will go, but they will remember this company because this company is very clear about its values. I'm not saying that these are the values or these are the only values, but these are the values we pronounce, we put out to the market saying these are the four values we have. The first one is M. Okay, what is M? Is being meticulous, is being systematic, is being precise, is being expert, is being efficient, process oriented, global and excellent. It is being methodical. How do you become methodical in anything you do? You have to learn about it, right? This, you, you can't be born methodical. It's like you have to keep your eyes open, you have to keep learning always, you have to know what's, what's happening in the market, you have to know processes, you have to be very, very process oriented. Anyway, <clears throat> I would urge that your HR puts this into some system that people start learning values. It's also a part of the booklet which you have, and you must remember this. <clears throat> I is insightful, is informed, intellectual, analytical, knowledge, generative, dynamic, innovative, intelligent. Everything what we do is intelligent, right? This is the, the today's time uh, we're talking about. Intelligence refers to a high level of knowledge, expertise, and continuous pursuit of learning and innovation. We cannot, intelligence cannot sit back and say, teen saal pehle, maine padha tha. That is not intelligent. Intelligent is what's happening today, right now. You are on the tap, right? You know what's happening. <clears throat> Nurturing, this is, this is how we deal with with each other. This is what builds our, our company culture. Uh, deal with each other, deal with our customers. Industry focus, the ecosystem which we are building, the relationships, the community, the understanding, the empathetic empathy, respect we have for each other. Okay, This is the human side of, of the values uh, which we have. And then, of course, transparency, but also trustworthiness. Why is transparency important? Because if you are transparent, it brings trust. Transparent, timely, reliable, consistent, ethical, compliant, and integrity. Right? So, so these are the values, mint. And I, I thought this was a huge opportunity for us to have this as a part of our name, big mint. We are big because we have mint, the values. Right? Very clear. That's why this, this name came in. <clears throat> the M, you already had it. Right? So, again, uh, not a surprise. I, I like to continue with what we have. Uh, so, the big, bold M, which is there, stands for unity and collaboration. It's obviously two people talk, talking to each other, but also their commitment to transparency and reliability. These are talking points because when you take that booklet home, there will be somebody saying, yeah, M kyun likhai? M kyun hai? Why is there, there those, those two heads on that? Why they are in the circle? Okay. What we have, this is the, I told you the brand, the visual identity is modular. So this is how we represent our brand. There is a service, data, technology, events, those are services. Bigment is our brand. Vertical is the vertical you work in, and commodity is what we're talking about. There's another layer which we are still building on geography, which will come into that. And how do we represent this? Finally, the brand to the customer or to the outside world is only one. It will uh, start manifesting itself. You will start seeing it. What I heard is that you'll start seeing it by tomorrow morning, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> You will, <laughs> looks big, right? Impressive. That's how it has to be. But then it, it becomes a part of our, our DNA, part of uh, something we have to take pride in, something which, which is there with us. Uh, we've also come up with something called Big Mint Oath. All of us have to commit to it. Right? When I become Big Mint, I'm a part of Big Mint, what does it mean? That means, as a proud member of the Big Mint team, I pledge to uphold the values of Mint, to be methodical in my approach, intelligent in my analysis, 
nurturing in all my collaborations, transparent in all my endeavors, ensuring the highest standard in community markets and price reporting. This is an oath we take and we take it publicly and we will put it out saying this is what means to be a Big Mint member. Right? Not everybody is a Big Mint member. I am a Big Mint member, team member, and I live by this. That's how I understand Mint very well. How do these values work? The values work, any decision which you have to take in your day-to-day -day life um, in the company must confirm to Mint. Okay? It must confirm to Mint. Khane kahan jana hai, Mint can tell you where to go. What should be the color of your uh, uh, interior? Mint will tell you what the color should be. What should be the look or the text of our, or how should we create an offering or a product for the market? Mint will tell you that. It has to be transparent, it has to be methodical, it has to be intelligent, and it has to be nurturing. It has to grow somewhere, right? So, I think that's it. Congratulations, team. Thank you.